What's up guys, it's Bye Bye here with another Rise of Kingdoms video. Today, I want to talk about one of the epic accessories, the Silent Trial. So, uh, after this video, you will know if Silent Trial is worth getting or if you should be getting more than one. Uh, so, you might also be able to learn something you never knew before today after this video. So let's go right into it here. So Silent Trial is a level 40 epic equipment here. Uh, its effect is you with normal attack, you can decrease the target range by 10. And with special talent, you can decrease the target range by 10 plus 3, which is 13 in total. And this is one of the accessories that is, I would say, I would consider it is free to play friendly. As long as you work hard enough, <laughs> is all I have to say. So you can get the uh, you can get this you can farm you can farm the silent trial blueprint from uh, going to some of the barbarian camp. So the barbarian camp drops them in your kingdom. So that if your kingdom is not super active, you can definitely go around all the camps every day, and you can collect the blueprint fragments, and then you can compile you can combine those fragments, and you can make a blueprints. And I think for a lot of like inactive kingdom, it's pretty easy for free to play players to keep collecting those blueprints, and you can get a whole bunch of uh, accessory with special talent. So next thing I want to show you guys is that I want to tell you how effective, how effective Silent Trial is, because like it's very very difficult to convert like rage reduction to damages because it, it works a little different in terms of like attack increase or defense increase or damage increase so first thing first let's go into a video that i prepare for you guys here uh one second uh i actually forgot to uh forgot to do this so give me one second here all right all right um So let's go into the video here. Um, uh, one second, relax, relax here. Make sure I have everything set up. Uh, oh, oh, oh. How come it's not working? Oh, wrong one. Excuse me, guys. That was a mistake there. Uh, so here. Uh, so on the left hand side, we have a richer that I'm using with no silent trial. So this is the one I'm using here with zero silent trial. And on the right side, we have a, another richer here, which is using a silent trial with special talent. So on the left side, we have a zero uh, rage reduction uh, every attack. And on the right side, we have a minus 13 rage reduction every single attack that I perform. So let's go right to here. So for this video comparison, I want you guys to pay very, very close attention to the target richer here. Uh, same here. Uh, you guys want to pay attention to the rage bar here, right? Uh, so let's go right to here. And as the video goes, I will explain more. Uh, okay. Okay. So... One thing you notice is that, right, as, as I mentioned before, right, uh, the silent trial doesn't affect your damage output. So you can see, like, the damage is pretty identical here, right, which is 1867 here. And also 1867 on this side as well. So like, you can really tell how effective they are from just looking at the damage output. So that is one thing you need to know. If you're looking at the normal Y damage, they are pretty much identical at the beginning. Uh, what you want to see is the rage bar. So pay close attention to the rage bar here. So on the left side, you can see that like the richer, the target richer on the left side was able to cast the skill a little bit faster there after about 10 seconds. And you can see that the rage bar is regenerate a little bit faster compared to, to the right side, right? So like the silent try is definitely working on the right side here. So like on the right side, uh, the silent try is definitely working, and we are seeing that like the ritual on the left side is like getting more rage and more rage over time here. So like now it is almost able to cast a, another skill there, right? So here a full bar rage here, and on this side only half bar here, and it is it is kind of like catching up here. 
Uh, it slowly got go and catch up to this side as well. So like here, the range keep going up here. So we so this at two bar now and this is four bar. So it, it 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 is almost catching up to the right side here. And let's see how long it's gonna take for uh, the one with no range reduction to catch up to the one with is a range reduction here. Uh, we are at about one minute thirteen second now. And I think almost there. So, as you can see right here, right? So now, after about 1 minute and 21 second, about 1 minute and 20 second, uh, the Richard on the left side was able to completely perform a full, like, one extra skill. So that after about 1 minute 20 second, the left side was able to perform an extra skill comparing to the right side there. So, like, it's, it's pretty good. I would say it's pretty good in, term, in terms of a rate reduction there. So, I would say, definitely like a, a good to have accessory. So now, uh, the next test I want to show you guys is that um, what, if, what if I want to use more than one silent trial, right? What if I want to use more than one silent trial? So now, uh, here, right? So if I'm, if I'm only using one silent trial, it takes me about one minute. 1 minute and 20 seconds for me to gain an extra skill. So like if I am using four if I'm using four silent trial to swarm down the target, it should it should take me less time, right? So it should take me maybe 20 to 30 seconds, right? Because now I'm using four. Right? I'm using four march with silent trial to to the to debuff on the target. So the target instead of getting minus like 10 wish reduction. They are going to, going to get minus 40 rate reduction, right? So let's go into another video comparison here. Um, so on this video, on this video now, on the left side, on the left side here, I am using one only one silent trial. And on the right hand side, I'm using four. So it, it, it should be... It should be four times faster, right? So I compare to the first video. The first video I was able to cast an additional skill after one minute and twenty seconds. So now with like an additional three silent trial, like the left side should be able to cast the additional skill probably around thirty seconds. So let's see if that happened. Let's see if that's going to be the case. So let's go and watch the video here. So again, uh, I want you guys to. Pay close attention to the rage, to the rage bar, okay? So here, uh, pay close attention to the rage bar here for the Jenga scan. Uh, close attention to the rage, to the rage bar here for the Jenga scan as well. So at the bell, six second, right? So around six seconds, right? Around six seconds, as you can see right here, right? Both, like both commander here, like both Yankee scan from both sides, they cast the skill at the same time. So this is where we uh, we got start looking for it. Okay, it's after this, after this one, like the one on the left side, the one on the left side after this, uh, this, this skill casting here should be able to cast the skill more frequently comparing to the right side, right? So let's keep watching on the two Jenga scan here. So after the first skill, so like the Jenga scan on the left side was able to catch the skill a little bit faster there compared to the right side, right? About about like a millisecond faster, even though I'm I am using like four silent trial. Like I'm using four silent trial compared to one, but uh, I don't see a very very big difference there. So look for another another skill here. So here we got the Jenkins can casting the skill again on the left side, and the one on the right side casting the skill pretty much right after there. Uh, not much difference there, even though like after about seventeen seconds. So let's keep watching here. Uh, do we are we gonna see like a major difference here? Uh, not big, not big difference here. If you look at the rage bar, uh, if you look at the rage bar from both sides, 
uh, you pay attention to, to the wage bar here. Uh, so here the wage bar is kind of full, right? And the wage bar here is kind of like almost full, almost full there. But again, it's only like twenty seven in into the into the fire here. But you can see it, it it definitely working like it definitely working there. But let's see here. So like, what now? Twenty nine second. 29 seconds, right? 29 seconds into the fight. Like, I have an actual, I have an actual four silent trial. Like, I, I would, I would expect to see the debuff work like four times faster than the one that we see previously when the Witcher doing a 1v1. Now we have four different marches debuffing on the Genghis Khan, like on the right hand side. On the right hand side, right, we have a four. Four matches with the sand try debuffing on him, but like the rich, like it, it, I, 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 I barely, I barely see the difference here. Right? Even on this side right here, right? This is a full two bar. This like a two bar there. You got like a two bar here for the rich, and on this side you got like a one and a half bar. So not like a huge, huge difference there. Not like a huge, huge difference there, right? I'm not seeing like a huge difference. Even though with like four silent trial debuffing on the same target, uh, so keep watching here. Right, like the rich, like not not like a huge huge difference, like comparing like one silent trial against four silent trial. So like, I think that definitely like a diminishing return when you have a more than one silent trial debuffing on a target I think there's definitely a diminishing return here because I am not seeing like I am not seeing the left hand side like the left hand side is supposed to regenerate rage a lot faster like a lot faster because like, the right hand side getting debuffed by 4 silent trial but like, it's not the case right I am like at, into like what almost 1 minute now like almost one minute now and I I haven't able to cast an additional skill yet. Like I am still casting the same amount of skill as the one on the right hand side here with four sun trial. Getting debuffed by getting debuffed by four sun trial. So why? Why is that? Uh, like let's keep watching here. Like why are we not seeing an additional skill here after about one minute already? Cause like when we do a one versus zero, right? When we're doing a one silent trial versus zero silent trial, we we were able to see an additional skill after a minute twenty second here, right? But like now, even after a, a minute and ten second, I'm not seeing I'm not seeing an additional skill here, like the one, like the rage on the left hand side, the rage on the left hand side is. Okay, we got a four bar here, and we got like uh about seventy five percent here. So like it's it's only like about twenty five percent fill up more than on the right hand side, with like a four seven try debuffing. So like why? So, so that is something I want to show you guys. So like that definitely, I think that definitely a, like a diminishing return when you have a more than more than one silent trial debuff on the target. I don't think the effectiveness is there anymore when you have a lot the market with silent trial. So that is what I think. And uh, another thing you need to know, another thing you need to know is that, um, like the silent trial work best against a slow rage regenerate commanders. So for example, when you are using the silent trial to debuff on like a commander like Richard. Or Alex, who using a defense talent tree or attack talent tree. So, if for example, right, Richard Marsh can regenerate a thousand rage every second because they are pretty slow at uh, rage re regeneration. And with Silent Trial, you can reduce 10 rage per second, which is 100 rage over 10 seconds, which come out to a 10% rage reduction there, right? 100 rage reduction over 1000 there for every 10 seconds, so that's 10%. But 
When you use your silent trial against a fast rich rege regeneration commander, for example, like Han or Saturn, a commander with a uh, support talent tree or skill talent tree, they can regenerate rich pretty fast. For example, right? Han or Saturn, they can regenerate a 15 minute rich every 10 seconds. So, like, in 10 seconds, you're only able to reduce 100, 100 rage from 1500 rage there. So it's only like a 6.5% rage reduction there when you are using the Siam trial against a fast rage regenerate commanders. So that is something you need to keep in mind as well. So like, Siam trial lose its effectiveness against like a fast rage regen commanders. So, and it works best against like slow rage commanders. Uh, and we also we also haven't taken into like consideration of like support commander like Joan of Arc, right? If you go into the game, if you go into the game here, uh, some of the commanders that can provide a very very good rage regenerate, uh, like Joan of Arc. So like, if you have uh, some commander like Joan of Arc that providing that rage regeneration, uh, fifty rage LV second for four seconds there so that like an additional tuned rage per second there so like when you are fighting someone with uh joan of arc on the side providing that rage regeneration your silent try is gonna lose its effectiveness against because you are now having less percentages uh of uh, effectiveness so like now you have to so now joan of arc is gonna make up for that like lost rages there so is it so like after after the testing and the video comparison that I show you guys? Like, is it really worth it? Is it really worth it for for us to like farm to farm the silent trial and to have a multiple of them running? Or is it better for us to focus on some other uh, accessories that can work better? Like could be uh could be the uh, ancient stratagem. Could be ancient stratagem, like three percent troop capacity could convert to a, a probably around three percent damage increase right there. Or a Dulin amulet, like Dulin amulet, reduce incoming counter attack damage minus five percent. It it work all the time. Any time you got swarm or get attack, or any time you taking incoming uh, counter attack damage, it got getting reduced. So, like for some kingdom, right? For some kingdom, like it's it very, very difficult to farm for the silent trial. And if you already have a one, for example, right? If you someone like myself who already have a one with a uh, special talent, maybe it's not worth like wasting your time to farm the silent trial anymore because there are definitely some sort of a diminishing return if you're running multiple market with silent trials there, and. It's, it's kind of like it's kind of like losing its effectiveness on the open field in in a mass PvP in my opinion because uh like in mass PvP there's definitely a diminishing return when like you are gonna try to run multiple market with Sun try to swarm down a target uh it is it's definitely losing its effectiveness there but you can definitely use use it. When you like, let's say you garrison your city or something like that, you can definitely use a silent trial and a delay amulet. You definitely don't want to use an ancient stratagem when you garrison your city or structure because troop capacity doesn't help increase damage or anything in your city because the troop capacity in your city or in the flag state is the same. It doesn't help with the troop capacity or the uh, wind scar. The wind scar accessory is not going to help you defend your city any better. But uh, a silent trial or a delay amulet, amulet will definitely help you defend your city or the garrisoning against some of the structure there. So like, in my opinion, it is worth it to get maybe one or just focus on getting one silent trial to have as a special talent instead of just trying to farming multiple of them and running multiple silent trial on multiple marches there. Uh, from what I'm seeing so far, there are definitely definitely some sort of like diminishing return rise there if you're running too many of these silent trial and i don't think it is worth it and anyway guys uh i hope you guys find this video informative and can help you guys decide if you guys should be farming for this silent trial blueprint or not 
Uh, thanks for watching the video, guys.